guys, here we go. Our next break is 2018. <laughs> I almost read off Flawless Collegiate because I just looked at that. Uh, 2019 Historic Autograph Steel Engravings Baseball 10 Box Case Random Hit Group Break. That's right, everybody's going to get an autograph here. Let's jump over here. This is the first random hit break. Only 60 of these cases were made. Each one delivers one of the following players. There's either going to be a Mantle, a Hank Aaron, Willie Mays, Ted Williams, Joe DiMaggio, or Sandy Koufax autograph in here. That'll be the case hit. Uh, buyers chose their spot. Yeah, the, fir the first one was really nice. We did a draft the first time, and the case hit was Koufax. They are, they are really nice. A lot of good names in that one. And a lot of those players from like the 20s hit over 300 for their career, too, so they're, they're nice. Uh, but there's going to be 20 spots. We're going to take those spots, randomize them five times. Then we're going to break the case, and we're going to randomize the list of hits five times. Matching the two lists up gives everybody one hit per spot. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to random off our names here. Good luck, everybody. Terry J up top, Corey W on the bottom. Alright, I'll go ahead and type them in there as we're going. Let's get started. I guess I could. Right, yeah. It's not a draft order. <laughs> So we have our list there. We'll match them up here. When we're done. Right, here we go. First box. I start off with Ernie Banks. And we're going to follow that up with Jocko Conlon. There you go, Corey. So we've got Ernie Banks and Jocko O'Connell. Hey, he was picked like 10th. He was in our first case that we had a draft. He was like the 10th pick. All right, box number two. We got Ernie Banks in that one, too. I think Ernie Banks went number five. Here we have Judy Johnson. It's a new one to me. Third baseman in 21 to 38, Hall of Famer in 75. Doesn't have any of his stats. That's because he played in the Negro Leagues. It says outstanding fielder and clutch hitter. Judy Johnson and Rick Farrell. Dickey. Career batting average of 313. Had a 362 average in 1936. Was a catcher from 28 to 46 and a Hall of Famer in 1954. Really cool there. Bill Dickey. And we'll finish this one off with Bobby Doerr. Next 
box here. There it is, the case hit. Mickey Mantle. And right before that, or right after that, is Edward Stack. Was the president of the Baseball Hall of Fame from 1977 to date, which was 81 there. <laughs> Edward Stack. President of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Box number five. <laughs> Ed Roush. <laughs> he had a career batting average of 323, hit 352 and 21. Hall of Famer in 1962. Ed Roush. And we've got for the Grays, Buck Leonard. First baseman from 33 to 50, Hall of Famer in 72, won the Negro League National League batting title with a 391 average in 1948. 391 average. Buck Leonard. All right, half the case down. Some nice ones there. Of course, the case hit was Mickey Mantle. Next up here, Willie McCovey. Career 270 hitter, 320 average in 1969. Willie McCovey. And early win. Pitcher from 39 to 63 at Hall of Famer in 72. Had 300 career wins. Won 23 games in 1952 and 1954. Early win. All right. Box number seven. Nice one right here too. Lou Brock. Career average of 293, hit 315 in 1964. Played from 61 to 79 with a Hall of Famer in 1985. Lou Brock. And Robin Roberts. Career record 286 and 245. 28 wins in 1952. Hall of Famer in 76. Pitched from 48 to 66. 286 wins. Robin Roberts. Alright. Three more boxes to go. Juan Marichal, 243 career wins, 126 in 1968, uh, pitched from 60 to 75, 
for the Hall of Famer in 1983. And next up, Bob Lemon. Celebration postcard. It's different than the Hall of Famer. Inducted in 1976. It's a different variation of the postcard. So you got Marichal and Bob Lemon there. <laughs> Stan Musial. Another nice one right there. Career 331 hitter. Numbers are impressive. Uh, hit 376 in 1948. Was an outfielder from 41 to 63. Hall of Famer in 1969. 331 career hitter. Never see that again. And Luke Appling. Career average of 310. Hit 388 in 1936. Was a shortstop from 30 to 50. Hall of Famer in 1964. Luke Applin. Yeah, a lot of nice hits in here. Alright, and our final box of the case. Frank Robinson. Career 294 hitter. Hit 342 in 1962. From 56 to 76, he was an outfielder. Hall of Famer in 1982. Frank Robinson. And George Kell. And I can tell you, George Kell was the last pick in our 20 spot draft. George Kell, <clears throat> career 306 average, hit 343 in 1949. Played third base from 43 to 57, was a Hall of Famer in 1983. George Kell. Alright, so let's take you back over to the others page here. All 20 names listed there. Let's random this. There we go. Three, four, and five. Let's Kel up top, McCovey on the bottom. All right, so Terry J gets George Kel, Jeremy M, Mickey Mantle. There it is, right off the bat. Jeremy M. with Mickey Mantle. Dave P. gets Rick Farrell. Chris E., Bobby Doerr, and Jock O'Conlon. William R. with Lou Brock. Chris J., Luke Appling. Stu W., Stan Musial. Casey S. with Ernie Banks. Jeremy B., Ed Roush. Joe D., Buck Leonard. Leonard L., Bill Dickey. Chris J., Robin Roberts. Chris E., Early Win. Corey W., Juan Marital. Chris E., Judy Johnson. Terry J., Frank Robinson. Nicholas M., Bob Lemon. Chris E. with Ed Stack, and Corey W. with Willie McCovey. There you go, Corey. Not too bad. Marichal and McCovey. A couple of Giants, I believe. Uh, but Jeremy M. with the big case hit there. Mickey Mantle. All right, guys, and that's going to do it. Really nice case there. A lot of good hits. I'm going to go ahead and upload. <laughs> Chris actually got the two that you thought he was going to get. He got both Jocko and Ed Stack. Alright guys, that's going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and upload that video to YouTube.